Designed for the Systems Alliance military to serve as a successor to the aging M29 Grizzly, the M35 Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle functions as a light-duty crowd control platform and assault tank, whilst also being assigned to frigates and other warships to serve as a planetary excursion rover. At a length of approximately 8 metres, the Mako's frame is sleek and compact, featuring an environmentally sealed interior layered with heavy armour. The Mako's plating is durable enough to easily withstand atmospheric entry, as well as enduring extreme degrees of heat and cold on a planetary surface. Perhaps the most well-known aspect of the M35's design is the vehicle's small Element Zero core, used to project vertically aligned mass effect fields. These fields allow the Mako to alter its mass to increase traction, or to scale almost vertical inclines with ease. The Mako's primary turret sports a powerful 155mm mass accelerator cannon, as well as a rapid-fire machine gun, used to quickly dispatch hostile infantry units. The interior of the M35 usually carries a crew of three, but some Mako variants have been known to hold up to eight individuals at maximum capacity. The M35's hull is dotted with laser detection nodes, used in conjunction with an advanced microframe computer system to alert the vehicle's crew to incoming guided missiles. The Mako also carries advanced ground-penetrating radar systems, allowing for the detection of concealed minefields and other subsurface anomalies. The Mako draws its power from an onboard hydrogen-oxygen fuel cell, and much of this energy is used to operate the vehicle's four ventral micro-thrusters. When used in conjunction with mass effect fields, these thrusters can briefly exert enough power to decelerate the M35 during an orbital drop, allowing the vehicle to survive planet fall on even the roughest terrain. But in order to maintain total safety, Alliance regulations normally disallow Mako drops when less than 100 meters of open terrain is available at the landing site. As both a combat support vehicle and an exploratory rover, the M35 Mako earned a proud reputation among Alliance servicemen and women for its extreme dependability. The vehicle opened a number of tactical opportunities for the Alliance military, allowing smaller warships to quickly deploy shore parties whilst only briefly exposing themselves to anti-aircraft fire. By the end of the Reaper War, the Mako had led a long and successful career, inspiring a number of design elements later featured in the M44 Hammerhead hover tank and continuing to serve as an indispensable asset to the fighting forces of the Systems Alliance. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.